If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency and vibration. Be alone, that is the secret of invention, be alone, that is when ideas are born. I don't care that they stole my idea. I care that they don't have any of their own. The present is theirs, the future, for which I really worked, is mine. My brain is only a receiver. In the universe there is a core from which we obtain knowledge, strength and inspiration. I have not penetrated into the secrets of this core, but I know that it exists. If your hate could be turned into electricity, it would light up the whole world. Of all things, I like books best. Antisocial behavior is a trait of intelligence in a world full of conformists. The day science begins to study non-physical phenomena, it will make more progress in one decade than in all the previous centuries of its existence. I do not think there is any thrill that can go through the human heart like that felt by the inventor, as he sees some creation of the brain unfolding to success. Such emotions make a man forget food, sleep, friends, love, everything. A new idea must not be judged by its immediate results. I could only achieve success in my life through self-discipline, and I applied it until my wish and my will became one. The scientists of today think deeply instead of clearly. One must be sane to think clearly, but one can think deeply and be quite insane. What one man calls God, another calls the laws of physics. Every living being is an engine geared to the wheel work of the universe. Though seemingly affected only by its immediate surrounding, the sphere of external influence extends to infinite distance. All that was great in the past was ridiculed, condemned, combated, suppressed, only to emerge all the more powerfully, all the more triumphantly from the struggle. We all make mistakes, and it is better to make them before we begin. Our entire biological system, the brain, and the earth itself work on the same frequencies. Electric power is everywhere present in unlimited quantities and can drive the world's machinery without the need of coal, oil, gas, or any other of the common fuels. I am even grateful to Einstein and others because through their erroneous theories they lead mankind away from that dangerous path I followed. If you only knew the magnificence of the three, six, and nine, then you would have the key to the universe. My brain is only a receiver in the universe. No free energy device will ever be allowed to reach the market. Inventors don't have time for married life. Throughout the infinite, the forces are in a perfect balance. And hence the energy of a single thought may determine the motion of a universe. The idea came like a flash of lightning, and in an instant the truth was revealed. Let the future tell the truth, and evaluate each one according to his work and accomplishments. The present is theirs, the future, for which I have really worked, is mine. It's not the love you make, it's the love you give. I am trying to awake the energy contained in the air. These are the main sources of energy. What is considered as empty space is just a manifestation of matter that is not awakened. I have always been ahead of my time. Our virtues and our failings are inseparable, like force and matter. When they separate, man is no more. Today, scientists have substituted mathematics for experiments, and they wander off through equation after equation, and eventually build a structure which has no relation to reality. Love. I recognize the emotion for what it is, an irrational self-destructive impulse, which is disguised as joy. When wireless is fully applied, the earth will be converted into a huge brain capable of response in every one of its parts. Great moments are born great opportunity. The Buddhist expresses it in one way, the Christian in another, but both say the same. We are all one. You may live to see man-made horrors beyond your comprehension. Peace can only come as a natural consequence of universal enlightenment. Each day we go to our work in the hope of discovering. Perhaps I failed, but I did my best. These masters of mine may do the rest. The desire that guides me in all I do is the desire to harness the forces of nature to the service of mankind. The opinion of the world does not affect me. 
I have placed as the real values of my life what follows when I am dead. There is no energy in matter other than that received from the environment. Everyone should consider his body as a priceless gift from one whom he loves above all, a marvelous work of art, of indescribable beauty, and mystery beyond human conception, and so delicate that a word, a breath, a look, nay, a thought may injure it. My belief is firm in a law of compensation. The true rewards are ever in proportion to the labor and sacrifices made. I do not think you can name many great inventions that have been made by married men. Originality thrives in seclusion free of outside influences. In a crystal we have clear evidence of the existence of a formative life principle, and though we cannot understand the life of a crystal, it is nonetheless a living being. Though free to think and act, we are held together, like the stars in the firmament, with ties inseparable. These ties cannot be seen, but we can feel them. But instinct is something which transcends knowledge. We have, undoubtedly, certain finer fibers that enable us to perceive truths when logical deduction, or any other willful effort of the brain, is futile. Of all the frictional resistances, the one that most retards human movement is ignorance. Invention is the most important product of man's creative brain. The ultimate purpose is the complete mastery of mind over the material world, the harnessing of human nature to human needs. Man, like the universe, is a machine. Nothing enters our minds or determines our actions which is not directly or indirectly a response to stimuli beating upon our sense organs from without. Of all things I like books best. My father had a large library, and whenever I could manage I tried to satisfy my passion for reading. In the 21st century, the robot will take the place which slave labor occupied in ancient civilization. There is no subject more captivating, more worthy of study, than nature. To understand this great mechanism, to discover the forces which are active, and the laws which govern them, is the highest aim of the intellect of man. The beauty and the scent of roses can be used as a medicine and the sun rays as a food. All matter comes from a primary substance, the luminiferous ether. I cannot exaggerate the effect of this marvelous sight on my childish imagination. Day after day I asked myself what is electricity and found no answer. Eighty years have gone by since and I still ask the same question, unable to answer it. Crystals are living beings at the beginning of creation. The motors I built there were exactly as I imagined them. I made no attempt to prove the design, but merely reproduced the pictures as they appeared to my vision, and the operation always as I expected.